Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be building your redstone ideas. Now before we get into this I just want to say that if you want me to build your idea then all you need to do is comment it on the comment section of this video or the channel discussion page and as long as it is uh, appropriate obviously then I will have a go. Okay then let's get into this. Okay then so one of the suggestions was from it's Nate Slays to make a one minute timer. Now, when I first got this, I my you know, I first thought, well let's just put loads of repeaters. And this is a hundred hundred and fifty repeaters and uh if all of these were fully fully ticked, then that would be a minute. But generally after a while of trying to figure out how I got all of these to get across with each other without like touching I just gave up on this idea because it was just it was just not very good. So I switched to this. So the way this works is is that an arrow is fired onto a button, and then this button is held down for one minute because um, the actual time that an arrow is there for before it despawns actually a minute so we can use that to our advantage and have it so it hits there and then when it despawns it will activate this redstone torch activating this going around here and it actually uh, activates his dropper and drops one into here so this has been running for six minutes basically and then it goes through a little bit of delay before going back to the dropper so it's pretty cool it's obviously not extremely accurate um main a lot of that due t to this so it's actually a minute and however long this is so you see that activates it and then it does it again so yeah pretty cool now when i first started building this i had it in my head that we need a monostable circuit but of course i just couldn't get that to work i don't really know why and just like wait do monostable circuits even work and i mean of course they do i mean there's one working here but in the end i got it working so yeah guys on to the next one hazardy suggested the most efficient xp farm possible but he never said it has to be able to be built in survival so well 39 levels already going up to 40 levels um this is just gonna keep going okay guys then for this next one i have actually headed on to java uh because i want some stuff in the latest snapshot so galaxy gaming suggested that i should make a chair pretty boring so i decided to spice it up a bit so imagine this you've just come back from a long day of mining and you want to go sit on your chair so you walk up to it but then your house decides nope now the chair's going to be over there no big problem you walk over here and then your house decides that the chair's going to be over there now and even if you try to do it fast it'll still always try and get it out the way so pretty cool let's try it with speed yeah, you can sometimes just about get on before the room decides nope you should go out the way now because yeah i'm gonna be mean cool so how does it work now the reason we wanted to go into the snapshot is for these things Skulk sensors. They look a bit weird, but basically what they do is they detect vibrations from far away. So these are set at the perfect distance away. So whenever we stand here or here, it will send the vibrations out towards the skulk sensors. And if it is this one, then it will say, hey, let's push the sofa out the way. And if it's the other one, it will say, hey, push it the other way. So yeah, pretty cool. Okay, we had three great builds there, and remember, if you want yours built, then all you have to do is comment it, comment it down below the video. And if you did enjoy this video, then be sure to leave a like and subscribe, it helps me out a lot. But for now, I will see you guys in another video. Bye!